Bitcoin is about to make a massive move and if that sounds interesting, you make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Bingo Charts here. Welcome back to another Bitcoin analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. As you guys can see on Bitcoin, we are currently testing the highs around that $17,100 mark. And in yesterday's video, I mentioned, of course, the fact that if we could be looking for a very bullish moveset on Bitcoin, once we break above this key resistance here at 16.6, .6, you can see pretty much right after I made that video, we saw a beautiful bullish engulfing candle breaking above the highs. And as of right now, we are testing these exponential moving averages as support. Of course, as long as we continue doing this we could be looking for a major move set around that 17.6 and then the consolidation and that zone is going to become extremely interesting for us of course right now on bitcoin though speaking on the four hours we can see that we are in the overbought region and of course we are expecting a pullback opportunity so keep a very close eye on how this seventeen thousand one hundred dollar plays if we do see another bullish engulfing candle actually retesting around that 17.6 then we would obviously have to look and see whether or not we can use this level as support or it starts to act as a resistance point in my opinion we could be expecting another move around that 17.9 for that liquidity grab and then the continuation i'm still looking for a bearish move set on bitcoin just because we had a four percent move does not mean that the bottom is in just yet ideally we are also in a very big inverse bar in formation so if we do see a nice move above that 17,000 to 18,000 dollar level things of course could start looking a little bit more bullish ideally right now though since we did have this massive waterfall from around the 20,000 this just acts as a very large consolidation zone before the next leg towards the downside i'm still expecting of course around that fourteen thousand to twelve thousand dollar level to be tested which is why we have these daily supports written down over here looking at the hourly time frames on bitcoin you can see that we are pretty much using this formation as support and a continuation but i did want to quickly talk about something number one of course is the fact that even though we are using this level as support we have seen a one hour bar formation now starting to play out you can see that these bar formations obviously are very very tricky to kind of master so right now we could be looking for a possible scenario where bitcoin does continue pushing on higher with this low ladder case and then the consolidation at that major resistance before the move set to the downside of course the larger the bar formation does play the larger the drop's going to be so keep a very close eye on the hourly to see how this bar formation plays out of course this would become invalidated if we did see one last move to the upside and then start to consolidate that bar formation would be invalidated because then it would just be a continuation on bitcoin instead of a fake out right when we look for these bar formations ideally what we're looking for is something like this where we have a nice strong bullish engulfing candle and then a consolidation zone right now it is a little too early to be calling this any sort of bar formation but in my opinion i will be expecting a slow ladder case up and then the consolidation near that resistance point for that overall move set down of course looking at the hourly you can see that we are also in that overbought region and i am expecting a pullback opportunity which is why i'm mentioning the bar formation could be at play here on the daily time frame so for the first time after a very long time, Bitcoin has broken above that 20 exponential moving average. And hopefully the daily does close, of course, right above the exponential moving average, because if that is the case and we do find this level as support, we could be looking for a massive move on Bitcoin. You can see that pretty much from all the way up here during the FTX news or around the $20,000 mark when we had that massive drop, we have failed to break above these EMAs and are actually using them as resistance. You can see that throughout the days, we started consolidating right in between these resistance levels and using them, of course, as a support as well at 15.5 but since then we haven't really seen a clean breakout formation until now this daily candle is going to be very important of course from the bullish case to try to close above these emas but if we do see a fake out within the next few hours and we actually consolidate right in between this would still act as a resistance point and we would be looking for that overall move set to the downside that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit the like and subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have one